Hey, welcome back to the channel, folks. It's your everyday Canadian here. Dick fast, baby. Anyways, before we get into today's action, lads and laders, I want to give a huge shout out to my boy, Cowboy Car Crushing. He's seen we were struggling to get that thousand subs, and he dropped it down for us, baby. Took us to the next level. I'll drop a clip from his video here before we get into the action, boys. Carry on. Folks, look here. On a, on a real note, it's a buddy asking buddies for a favor. Um, YouTube recommended this channel to me. It was a straight up uh, recommendation from YouTube. I clicked on it and I just I just really enjoy this channel. Uh, my man Dick Fass, I know. Our, our channels are, are similar, meaning that we want to have fun and kid around and, and, and joke every chance we get. And But there's some work getting done in these videos, you know? But look here, folks. When I last checked this morning, he was at 991. And I was thinking and hoping you guys would help us, help him out and help me out and go over there and give him a, a, a subscribe. You're, he, he, he's, I don't want to blow it too much because I really want y'all to just go over here and check it out. And uh, he's hilarious. Oh, oh my God, before I forget, homie's got a G-body with a big block. Uh, maybe that'll wet your whistle. Huh? You know, for a dick, you're a really cool guy. See what happened here is the roof shovel got blown to bits, boys. So, give it the all Canadian backyard field fix right here. See that? It's called the Canadian Stitch Job. Works for wounds, work equipment, even works at home. The wife's on your case about fixing something around the house, you know, that one cabinet that's not quite closing right. Well, you can dial them hinges in. Just drill a few holes, a few good zip ties. Straighten things out, buddy. That's how the world works. A little redneck ingenuity. Next thing you know, you're back on the job, pal. Where you want to be. That might hold up to your and abuse. Probably not. Well, folks, it's Wednesday morning. We're expecting a two-day storm. It's raining, plus one. It's supposed to transition into snow, 10 to 20 centimeters. We're just putting down some heavy salt, boy, in preparation. Our ladies are dancing. And we're at it, boys. <laughs> Well boys, this is the time of year when we gotta start getting a little creative. As if our brains weren't already on overtime, ladies. But anyways, if you'll uh, reminisce with me and catch a little memory, you'll remember that when I started filling this back area with snow, we were going way back, baby.
But now, I filled that entire area. That's a lot of friggin' snow, folks. So now I start getting creative and putting snow in different places. Like this pile I got here, collected from this large side, I push it all across here. We're gonna barrier up in here, buddy, along this fence line. Just out of sight, out of mind, baby. Hell yeah. Hey, dick fast. Internet's most hated, self-proclaimed, snow-plowed legend. Back with you again today, folks. Now I imagine, since the exact second you laid your lookers on this clip, you've been thinking, that sucker must be done, bud. He's forking that little picnic sausage like the front end of a bicycle. Yeah, well, guess what, folks? That's my buddy Kevin there. He's the uh, contract coordinator slash maintenance manager here at this particular property. They got a bit of an HVAC issue, something going up on the roof. They got a lot of melt happening. Refreeze, roof leaks, kind of thing you'll run into in that situation. But in this case, She's icing up that wall, icing a business door closed, and building up about a foot thick of ice right on the concrete out front, boys. So yeah, we forked her. We forked her like your last dinner, buddy. Anyways, carrying on. Now, boys. Remember that country bungalow that I went and plowed there a couple weeks ago? Yeah, well guess what, ladies? I took that sucker on full time. Yeah, she's out of town, everything like that, but there's really nice people living here, people, okay? Yeah, and it pays all right, but I'm not gonna tell you, folks. This channel ain't about how to run a business or what we're charging for stuff, okay? I think there's enough channels out there Giving you guys that kind of information. This is free enterprise, boys. Tell you, a lot of that information don't mean nothing to you in your area. But that's fine, folks. Anyways, I like plowing this place, honestly. There's no backdragging at all. Now, for me, if I get to skip backdragging, oh, that's just like winning something, okay? Winning something great. But anyways, I'm able to hit every square inch of this place with the plow. Nope. That's a lie. I can do the front door with the plow, though, boys. But then, you know what I'd like to do. I like to delegate the situation. In order to do a good job, folks, I'll hop out there and just put that shovel to her. Like a dirt nap. She's getting a shovel, boy. And then around back, there's an area there. It's not actually a driveway. But what these folks like to do is have the cars that pick them up come around to the back door, okay? Makes it a lot easier for the, uh, the elderly husband there to get his ride into the city, folks. So I'll shovel that area, too. I'm not afraid to work for my money, folks. Very simple. But even with all the shoveling included, I'm in and out of this property in about... 10 to 15 minutes. Nothing to it, ladies and laddies. But uh, just the nicest old folks in the entire world. I'm glad that they got me doing the snow because I do a good job for them and I don't take advantage of them, okay? But I know there's a lot of these other guys that would and they could, folks. But anyways, I'm just trying to get this place done and get the route finished, folks, because I'm going racing today, ladies, and I'm bringing you with me. Let's go. That's got to be the sweetest old woman alive, boys. She uh, sent me home with two cans of Chunkies. Two cans of Chunkies, boys. Corn chowder. Baked, pot baked potato with bacon, buddy. They both sound delicious. They don't make them like that anymore, bud. Well, folks, we're back at the track, ladies. Couple modifications. Pulled about another 100 pounds off her rump there. Gave her the anti Beyonce diet, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, we did some adjustment on the throttle pedal there. I'm about to, I'm able to push that sucker down an extra friggin' two inches, boys. So she's screaming up the straights now, ladies. Got the ratchet taken off on the e brakes. Now I can just slide these corners like GTA, buddy. Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, boys. Also slammed a little glass pack on her so she's not screaming like an eagle at the moon. We did a couple decent camera mounts in this car too so we can get you guys some 
Better footage, boys. Shout it out to Dustin Brown lending me the helmet again. Whee! 16? Alrighty, folks, here we go. Back in the pack, ladies. Back in the pack, ladies. Who would have thunk it? You could use a forklift for ice management. And yeah, guess what, buddy? I got two cans of Chunkies to add to my center console full of Snickers bars and Cokes. Yeah, just the snacks I collect throughout the winter. Anyways, I snuck in a little ice racing action there for you boys. Let me know if you want to see some more. There's only five events a year. It's only our second time out, and boy, we're having a blast with it. So... Until next time, folks, keep your plow on the ice and your gullet out of the mud. Cheers, boys.